Hi everyone! Sa video na ito ay ituturo ko sa inyo kung paano mag-solve ng quadratic inequalities. Just keep on watching! Hello mga anak shis! Welcome to Math TV PH. Ang channel na ito ay tungkol sa math tutorials, lectures, or discussions na Tagalog at Taglish na dedicated sa lahat ng mga estudyante. Kung interesado ka, please like, subscribe, at i-click mo na rin ang notification bell para ma-notify ka kapag may bago akong upload na video. Number 2 example, x squared minus 4x plus 3 is less than or equal to 0. Una, ang gagawin ninyo ay itransform nyo muna yung quadratic inequality sa equation. So, ito papalitan natin ng equal sign. So, magiging x squared minus 4x plus 3 is equal to 0. Then, i-factor natin itong quadratic trinomial. So, ano ang factor ng positive 3 na kapag in natin ay magiging negative 4? Since ang middle term ay negative at ang last term ay positive, ibig sabihin ang factor natin ay negative at negative. Then, the factor of x squared is x. Then, ano ang factor ng 3 na kapag in natin ay magiging negative 4? That is, negative 3 and negative 1. Kasi, negative 3 times negative 1 is equal to 3. Negative 3 plus negative 1 is equal to negative 4 is equal to 0. Next, i-equate natin to sa 0 using the zero product property. So, ito, x minus 3 is equal to 0. Then, x minus 1 is equal to 0. I-transpose natin si negative 3 sa kabila, magiging x is equal to 3. Then, ito naman magiging x is equal to positive 1. So, meron na tayong critical points na 1 at 3. Next, i-plot natin yung mga nakuha nating points sa number line. Ang given na inequality ay less than or equal to, ibig sabihin ang circle natin ay shaded or solid circle. So, dito yung positive 3, shaded siya. Then, yung positive 1, shaded din. Next, i-mark natin yung mga points as boundary para malaman natin kung saan tayo kukuha ng test points. Tapos, hatiin natin sa tatlong region which is A, B, and C. Then, Kukuha tayo ng test points each region. So, unahin natin yung region A. A tayo. So, the original inequality is x squared minus 4x plus 3 is less than or equal to 0. Kukuha tayo ng test points sa region A. Kahit saan dyan ay pwede niyong kunin, basta kasali siya sa region. So, ang kukunin kong number or test point ay negative 1. So, isa substitute natin siya sa x. So, negative 1 squared minus 4 times negative 1 plus 3 is less than or equal to 0. Negative 1 squared is equal to positive 1. Negative 4 times negative 1 is equal to positive 4 plus 3 is less than or equal to 0. Then, simplify 1 plus 4 is equal to 5 plus 3 equals 8 is less than or equal to 0. Is 8 less than or equal to 0? No. Ibig sabihin, this is false. Hindi kasali ang region A sa solution set. Now, itas natin yung region B. Kuha tayo ng test points sa region B. Solid circle to, ibig sabihin pwede natin kunin yung 1 at 3. Ang kukunin kong value ay yung positive 1. So, isasubstitute ko siya sa quadratic inequality. 1 squared minus 4 times 1 plus 3 is less than or equal to 0. Y squared is equal to 1. Negative 4 times 1 is equal to negative 4 plus 3 is less than or equal to 0. 1 minus 4 is equal to negative 3, plus 3 is equal to 0, less than or equal to 0. Is 0 less than or equal to 0? Yes. Ibig sabihin, this is true. 
Ngayon, kukuha naman tayo sa region C. Pwede natin i-extend to. Kukunin ko ay 5. So, ang test point natin dito ay positive 5. Substitute natin doon sa inequality. So, 5 is squared minus 4 times 5 plus 3 is less than or equal to 0. 5 squared is equal to 25. Negative 4 times 5 is equal to negative 20. Plus 3 is less than or equal to 0. Simplify. 25 minus 20 is equal to 5. Plus 3 is less than or equal to 0. 5 plus 3 is equal to 8. Less than or equal to 0. Is 8 less than or equal to 0? No. Ibig sabihin, this is false. Yung region C ay hindi kasali sa solution set. So, ano lang yung true dito? Yung region B. Ang solution set ng quadratic inequality ay yung region B. Paano natin ito isusulat sa interval notation? Solid circle, ibig sabihin bracket. Then, positive 1 hanggang positive so, ito lang yung solution set natin. Positive 3, then bracket kasi, solid circle. So, ito lang yung solution set natin. Or, pwede naman natin itong isulat as x is greater than or equal to 1 but less than or equal to 3. Another example, x squared minus 3x minus 18 is greater than or equal to 0. First, i-transform muna natin siya sa equation. So, yung symbol na to, papalitan natin ng equal sign. x squared minus 3x minus 18 is equal to 0. Then, i-factor natin yung trinomials. Ang last term dito ay negative at ang middle term ay negative. Ibig sabihin, ang factors natin ay positive at negative. Then, mas malaking number dapat yung negative. Ano ang factor ng negative 18 na kapag in natin ay magiging negative 3? That is, negative 6 and positive 3. Kasi, negative 6 times 3 is equal to negative 18. Negative 6 plus 3 is equal to negative 3. Then, i-equate natin to sa 0 using the zero product property. So, x plus 3 is equal to 0. Then, ito naman, x minus 6 is equal to 0. Ililipat natin si positive 3 magiging negative 3 using addition property of equality. Yung negative 6 naman, ililipat natin or itratranspose na natin sa kabila magiging positive 6. So, ito na yung dalawang critical points natin. Then, iplot natin yung critical points sa number line. So, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 dagdagan natin 7, 8 then negative 1, negative 2 negative 3, negative 4 i-plot natin yung negative 3 at positive 6 so dito yung negative 3 dito naman yung positive 6 since ang inequality symbol natin ay greater than or equal to ibig sabihin ang circle natin ay shaded or solid circle Ibig sabihin, yung positive 6 at negative 3 ay included siya sa solution. Next, hatiin natin ito sa tatlo, tatlong region. So, dito yung region A, dito yung region B, at dito naman yung region C. Ngayon, kukuha tayo ng test points in each region. So, dito ang kukunin kong test point ay negative 4. Isa substitute natin doon sa original inequality. x squared minus 3x minus 18 is greater than or equal to 0. Yung x papalitan ko ng negative 4. Squared minus 3, negative 4, minus 18, greater than or equal to 0. Simplify, negative 4 squared is equal to 16. Negative 3 times negative 4 is equal to positive 12. Minus 18, greater than or equal to 0. 16 plus 12 is equal to 28. Minus 18 is equal to positive 10. 
greater than or equal to 0. Is 10 greater than or equal to 0? Yes. Ibig sabihin, this is true. Next, kukuha tayo ng test points sa region B. So, ang kukunin kong test point ay positive 1. So, yung positive 1, isa-substitute natin doon sa equation. So, 1 squared minus 3 times 1 minus 18 greater than or equal to 0. 1 squared is equal to 1. Negative 3 times 1 is equal to negative 3 minus 18 greater than or equal to 0. Negative 3 minus 18 is equal to negative 21 plus 1 is equal to negative 20 greater than or equal to 0. Is negative 20 greater than or equal to 0? No. Ibig sabihin, this is false. Next, kukuha naman tayo ng test point sa region C. Ang kukunin kong test point ay positive 7. So, 7 squared minus 3 times 7 minus 18 greater than or equal to 0. 7 squared is equal to 49. Negative 3 times 7 is equal to negative 21 minus 18 greater than or equal to 0. Okay? Negative 21 minus 18 is equal to negative 39. Plus 49 is equal to positive 10 greater than or equal to 0. Is 10 greater than or equal to 0? Yes, ibig sabihin, this is true. Anong region ang true? Yung region A at yung region C. Ibig sabihin, so ang kukunin nating solution set ay dito at dito. Kasi yung nandito sa region B ay hindi siya solution set. Ngayon, paano natin to isusulat sa interval notation? So, ang solution set ay from negative infinity, ang gagamitin ay parenthesis, hanggang negative 3, solid circle, ibig sabihin bracket. Or, or union, solid circle, bracket, positive 6, hanggang positive infinity, parenthesis. Or, pwede naman natin itong isulat sa inequality form na x is less than or equal to negative 3 or x is greater than or equal to 6. So, ito yung tinatawag na inequality form. Okay? So, yun lamang mga nakshis. Thank you for watching!